The tornado warning debate continues on the talkback lines, but first, something new for Joe Snedeker. Hey, Joe, since you got a walker and a cane, I'm going to send you a set of training wheels for your bike so you can put them on when you do go, Joe. That way there you won't fall over. Yeah, I want to settle the debate once and for all about these uh, alerts not to cut out a general hospital or to cut out to give the tornado or tornado warnings. That's what cell phones are for. Getting your alerts, emergency weather alerts through TV or radio is such an old, antiquated way of doing things. And thank you, Channel 16, for being on the air when there's a, a tornado or a, a, any other kind of a disaster. We appreciate it, contrary to what some stupid people think. And I just want to say about that trip that John Meyer took by that aqueduct, um, what a piece of craftsmanship. And they did it in a year. Can you imagine if PennDOT was going to do that? First, it would take them 10 years to get through all the permits and environmental impact studies. And then another 10 years for them guys to get to build it. And I just saw John Myers. Um, he went back to the bridge. My God, that, that that's magnificent. And it's still in use today. Too bad... We couldn't get them same kind of people to work in West Piston and Piston on the two bridges there and other bridges. One year it took them to build that. Wow. Um, when you show Jack Culkin reporting on something, why don't you just call him the mustache is reporting from Carbondale? I don't know what the big thing is over whether this guy has a mustache or not or a beard or not. You can call Talkback 16 at 1-800-228-WNEP, and you can always find Talkback 16 online at WNEP.com. 